It's day 21 of our trip from Holland to South Africa in this Sling aircraft, and we just departed Dolly Airstrip, which is just outside Arusha, Tanzania. We're on the climb to 9,000 feet, and we're cruising to Mafia Island. And Mafia Island is known to be a beautiful place to swim with the endangered whale sharks. The reason being that the Mafia Channel is fed by Rafiji River, and there's lots of nutrients and uh, plankton there for these animals to feed on, and they're safe to swim with, but we have been invited by Kitu Kiblu to have the whale shark swimming experience and learn a bit more about these beautiful, beautiful animals. So we are so excited for that. Currently we're climbing up to a slightly higher altitude just to get out of the scorching heat from the, uh, from the ground down there. And it is pretty, pretty stunning. It's a two and a half hour flight we've got, uh, which is one of the shorter flights. We're excited to go through the coast. It'll be a lot more humid than we were here in North Tanzania. But uh, it's going to be good to be swimming, be on the beach, and see this whole new environment. We're going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the beautiful scenery, and we'll get back to you when we are at the coast. Star Approach, good afternoon. Zulu Uniform, Sierra Hotel Whiskey. Zulu Sierra Uniform, Hotel Whiskey, that approach. This is the uniform Sierra Hotel. Whiskey is overhead to Itzkup, level 09 and 5, squawking 35232 PB en route to Mafia Island. Copy, route direct Delta Victor for forward uh, traffic, level 09 and 5. Next report overhead to Delta Victor. Report over Delta Victor, next uh, maintain level 09 and 5. Thank you, Sierra Hotel. Whiskey. requested a descent and orbit over in the peninsula of Dar es Salaam where I grew up and we flew over the Yacht Club and all these places that I recognized and even spotted the house that I lived before moving to the Netherlands and I'm so happy I got to show you! Yeah, incredible, I can't wait to see it in the next few days. A massive, massive city. Wow, that was a great surprise. So we are directed now straight to Mafia Island. We've got 30 minutes left, I think for the next Say 10 minutes, we're still over land, and then we'll put on our life jackets for the last part. We've got all our maritime safety equipment behind us, so we'll be all good. Mafia traffic, Zulu Uniform, Sarah Hotel Whiskey, along 5015. We got the runway in sight. What a nice approach. Nothing has changed since I was a kid. After a warm welcome from the airport director, we packed our stuff and headed out to meet the Kitu Kiblu team. is a beautiful secluded beach and just further over there is the airport so that means we flew right past on our approach and you see there is very little traffic flying into this sleepy little airport but if you're interested in watching the caravans coming into land you have the perfect viewing spot right over here 
Now I believe the plan for tomorrow morning is that we'll be taking this small boat to the larger boat back there, which will bring us to the marine reserve for our very first whale shark encounter. We've been told that there have been plenty of sightings this season already, so we will not be disappointed. Now the plan for now is to meet the Kitsu Kiblu team up in the bar for some sundowners, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Hi everyone, welcome to Kitoki Blue and thank you for choosing us. So we are going to swim with whale sharks, so you don't have to be afraid at all. <laughs> they are very gentle creatures. There are just a few rules to not scare them. The first one is to not touch them because uh, if you touch them, they can do a big movement with the tail and it's dangerous for the people around. They will also probably dive down and disappear. And the last rule is to, it's okay if you want to dive down because they are in deeper water but please don't dive under them because it's where all the sensitive parts are. The only thing that can be dangerous is just the tail, so just keep an eye on the tail and try to not be around. We go in the office over there, we can provide you some fins, mask, uh, snorkel and booties. And when we'll be on the boat, it takes quite a time because the boat is very slow, we don't want to scare the whale sharks, so please be patient and we will tell you a biology briefing about the whale sharks to make you Patient, we got our fins and snorkels, so we're ready to head on the boat. Hitu Kiblu is a responsible whale shark encounter operator that promotes safe and respectful interactions. They focus on promoting sustainable tourism and run internship programs for those with an interest in marine conservation looking to gain skills and experience working at sea. The founders of Kitsu Kiblu are also members of the Mafia Island Whale Shark Conservation Society, a forum to raise awareness about whale sharks and support their conservation. Welcome to our big boat. This is Papa Doc and Papa's shark and dog is doctor. And we have two boatmen. The captain there is Ali and in front is Amini. So they have amazing eyes to see what shark is there in front, like very far away. I had to get a little used to the whole snorkeling situation. We've definitely been drinking some seawater, but I'm getting better at it. And you really do have to swim quite fiercely to keep up with them because they look like they're not moving, but they're moving so much faster than we can keep up. And with my very poor stamina, it's quite a <laughs> quite a challenge. Whoa, I'm gonna have this one. <laughs> Born oh. swimmer. Oh, but I'm tired now. Hello. Now I'm gonna show you guys our private shower because they have got a pretty nifty way of heating the water. Now they've got a bit of kerosene. I hope it's gonna work because everything's rained on. Ooh. 
if we wait two minutes, we'll get hot water. I look for the things I don't know. came back from our second morning swimming with whale sharks and it has been absolutely incredible. Today we even saw dolphins, so we are absolutely ecstatic and have had such a great time here at Kitu Kiblu. So to thank the team, we'll be taking the local staff for a flight over the island to spot whale sharks. And the exciting thing is that they have all never flown before and it's a big surprise, so they don't know yet. So in about five minutes, we'll be heading to the airport and I am super excited to see their reaction. <laughs> Was it good? Yeah, I sweat a lot. <laughs> yeah, we always do. Really? Yeah. Cool, thank you. Well done. It was perfect. Will you do it again? Mm. Not for a while. Not for a while, maybe next year. Maybe in a bigger one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> hey, Captain Rubani! Huh? <laughs> oh, it was so cool. Even let him fly for quite a long while, make some turns, and they were freaked out in the back. I was waving my hands in the air. They flew between the clouds, which I thought were amazing. So I think they really enjoyed it. We didn't see any whale sharks though, so better luck next time. We had the most incredible time on the island. We were warmly welcomed by the entire team at Kitu Kiblu and really taken in as part of the family. I'm so grateful that we could take them all flying on separate flights. We did four flights with them in total. And it was just stunning seeing the island from the air and seeing their faces all light up to see their beautiful island uh, from above. It was just, just a treat. And I mean, the fact that we can give back to people by taking them flying is the biggest uh, yeah, pleasure ever. And we are going to head out to Dar es Salaam, to the city where I grew up. I'm so excited to show Maurits all the places I used to love going as a child. And I think we're going to end this video off here. Yeah, it was an absolute treat seeing all the whale sharks swimming with them at two occasions. And we'll definitely be back for some diving on the coral reefs. For sure. But for now, we're going to end it off here. We're going to enjoy our flight. And we'll see you guys in Dar es Salaam on the next one. Bye.